Now to a developing story here in the city of Rochester. Unfair and out of line. That's what the three teens are calling their recent arrest. And today those teens were in court to face a judge. Rochester police are accusing them of disorderly conduct. They claim the teens were obstructing the sidewalk on Main Street in downtown Rochester early Wednesday morning. But those teens say they were just waiting for the bus when police arrested them. Jo Angel Concepcion was in court today, and she joins us live in the newsroom with a reaction to this case. Jo Angel. Well, Leah, these young men are considered star athletes at Edison Tech. Their families say they have never been in trouble before, and they shouldn't be in trouble now. The teens spent the morning in court today. Days after their arrest, they're still trying to make sense of what happened. Yeah, because you're just downtown, minding your own business. And let you know anything happened. We tried to tell him that we was waiting for the bus, but we wasn't catching the city bus. We was catching the yellow bus, and he didn't care. He arrested us anyways. Now we received an email from Rochester Police. They say early Wednesday morning, an officer witnessed several teens gathering in front of a store near North Clinton Ave and Main Street. Police claim they were blocking the sidewalk and the entrance to a store. They say they told the teens to leave several times, but according to the officer, the teens did not move from the area. The three were placed under. Under arrest, they were supposed to be formally charged with two counts of disorderly conduct today, but the judge pushed their date to December 11th. The teens are sticking by their story. They were just waiting for the bus. They got a lot of support from family members today and even a member of the school board. I'm very concerned about a pattern of young people, especially young people of color, being um, mis. You know, abused by police authority. And to me, this seems like a very clear case, part of a pattern. They're not bad kids. They're awesome boys. They all have good grades in school. You know, I don't want them to be profiled at all. That is a catastrophe. I mean, these young men were doing nothing wrong. Nothing wrong. They did exactly what they were supposed to do. And still, and yet, they get arrested. Now, we were told police have received complaints in the past from the store owner about people loitering and fighting in front of the store, and that's one of the reasons why police say they were monitoring that area. Tonight, the teens are out on bail, and they're hoping the charges will be dropped at their next court date in less than two weeks. Joe Angel Concepcion, News 10, NBC. All right, and of course, we will be tracking any developments in this story, and we'll be at that court appearance in a couple of weeks. Thank you, Joe Angel.